I'm going to now. Amen. I'm just going to say a little bit uh, before I bring. Um, I know he has two beautiful daughters of God who are going to come and have some fun before the Lord. Amen. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. She's like, who you talking to? I'm talking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come have some fun before the Lord. How many of you know that you need to enjoy what you do before God? The reason why you enjoy it because you're free. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's like, you be tensed up? Why would I be tensed up from doing anything with God while I'm free? I'm not trying to do something to get free. I'm already free. Amen. So I, and I was, uh, just to say this, it was, um, it's so funny because um, my job a lot of times um, will have me on Facebook and um, it will have me like reaching out. Cause my job is to reach out to um, pastors and, and sometimes I just sit there and and then you, know, you allow God to just draw you to people. You know what I'm saying? He just draws you. You know. What I'm and some people, you can go through a, all the people, then God, somebody will catch your attention. And when that usually happens to me, I'm like, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna try to do something to reach out and touch. Uh, and I thank God for being able to reach out and touch Apostle and his beautiful wife. Amen. God. Amen. Amen. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you what was what was funny about it. Because sometimes when you do that, you know, and I, I can tell how when God is leading me because. When I do it, it's always a, a positive feedback. It's always like, you know, it's not like what you, what, because the truth, all, the truth is all I'm trying, because how many know we're all family, amen? amen? We're family and kingdom. And I said this one time, and I must keep saying this. Sometimes we, we see some crazy stuff. We really do see some crazy stuff in the kingdom because we'll say, we'll see people say the churches is divided, this and this and this and that. But you got to understand something. And I always think like this. If Paul was preaching, and Peter was on the other side of town, Paul wouldn't get mad after you preach if you went to see Peter because they family. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's religion. See, when, you, when, when you're preaching and you're, in the, you're, in the, you're working in the kingdom with your brothers and sisters, man, it should be a blessing, amen? And I thank God for bringing my brother here today. I'm a, but I'm not going to let him, I'm not going to do some. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I think, the, um, the worship. I think they're going to worship. I don't know how it's going to be done, but bring the worship. And then they're going to bring up his beautiful wife, because I think nobody can introduce you better than your wife. You know what I'm saying? Because she can come up here and tell me, yeah, he ain't out, you know what I mean? I hope he's good with his wife, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> he's not even like, babe, babe, come on. Come on. So we're going to, it's your, I'm turning it over to you, apostle. You do what you do. Amen. 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 Hey, y'all. <laughs> we are just, um, we just want to thank you before we actually sing. We, we are so honored to be here and so grateful to be in the presence of so many amazing believers. Um, it is such an honor for us to just be able to get together and be able to fellowship and praise his name. So how many of you know how reckless God's love is? How amazing his love is. <laughs> it is so crazy every single day we get to wake up and God wants nothing more than to breathe life into us. He wants nothing more than to call us from the darkness that we have been in. He wants nothing more yeah. but greatness for us. Even in his word, it says, I have plans to prosper you and never to harm you. So how, how do we wake up and not sing his praises? How do we wake up and not give him thanks? So the song that we're going to sing today is just, it's all about that. It's all about God just throwing kisses on us each and every single day. Amen. 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 Before I spoke a word. Oh, they have it. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. For as 
spoke a word, you were singing over me. You've been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You've been so, so kind to me. Sing it if you know it. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I couldn't earn it, no, I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending Reckless love of God When I was your foe, still your love fought for me. <laughs> so you have been so, so good to me. And when I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. God, you have been so, so kind. shadow no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me it's no shadow you won't light up no mountain you won't climb up coming after me no lie you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming after me. It's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. It's no lie you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. I can't hear y'all. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found. Leaves the night and I, and I, I couldn't earn it. And I, I don't deserve it. it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. 
always chases me down and fights till I'm found, leaves the 99, and I couldn't earn it, no I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away, and all the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Can you declare it again? Sing. It's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. Hallelujah. It's no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Yeah, it's no, no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No, no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming after me. I know y'all could be louder than that. I no know you could be louder you than that. Light up. Every Mountain single day that he chases up. after you, coming every single day me. that he comes to you, waiting with open arms, no that's as loud as you can be. That's as loud as you can be. Praise him. Praise him in this place. Praise him in this place. No Praise you won't Praise him. Up, coming after me. No one you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me again. It's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. It's no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming after me. It's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. It's no wall you won't kick down, no lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Because he says, that you are, you are. Because he called you his chosen one, because he said you are a part of a holy nation, you are a part of a royal priesthood. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited to be in the house of God tonight. Are you guys excited to be here? Amen, amen. I didn't do it, it wasn't me, I promise. All right, I have the privilege of introducing somebody that is very, 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 very dear to me. He is my husband. <laughs> the father of our three kids, two over there, one on the way, amen. And before he is an apostle by function, he is a servant by nature, amen. He loves God and he loves his people tremendously. So let me just welcome him. That's just as simple as I can give it to you. You'll see it in his function, you'll see it in his action, you'll see by the way that he spends time with you in the prophetic, but help me stand to your feet and help me welcome Apostle Jonathan McKay of Beyond the Four Walls International. Amen. That's two. Hallelujah. Can you help me out just a little bit? Just Hallelujah. Test, test, test. One, two. That's good. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited to be here. Hallelujah. Touch somebody next to you and say that you're wise for being here. Come on. I think you have the wrong. Yeah, I think you have the wrong person. Touch the next person. Tell them that you're wise for being here. I'm excited to be here with you all. 
Hallelujah. I feel the love of God in this room. Hallelujah. And I know that the Spirit of the Lord is going to speak. Are you ready to hear the word of the Lord? Come on. How many of us know that God still speaks? Hallelujah. God still speaks. Hallelujah. And I believe that God is. Can I get the handheld? I'm like struggling with this here. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Can y'all hear me all right? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to first and foremost give honor to whom honor is due. Jesus Christ, who's the first, who's the head of my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. And we're nothing without him. Can, can we agree yes. that we're nothing without him? Hallelujah. And I bless the name of the Lord for who he is to me. Also, uh, my wife, amen, my prophet, hallelujah, who keeps me straight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I bless the Lord for her. And can you just stand for your leader? Come on, put your hands together for your leader. Hallelujah. Yeah. Apostle Albury. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. And he was right in the vein of understanding what kingdom function is. See, when you're operating in the kingdom, you understand that there is a DNA. I need you to catch me because I speak prophetically. There's a DNA when we're talking about kingdom connection. And when he reached out to me, hallelujah, and he said, yeah, you know, let's connect. And, you know, I have a lot of people that reach out, but not everybody connects. Not everybody is kindred. Hello. Let me say that again. Not everybody is kindred. Hallelujah. So when he reached out to me, I was, I was, um, I, I instantly felt uh, the connect of the Lord, and I'm just glad to be here. Hallelujah. But I want to get to the word of the Lord, and I want to really release something unto you today. And um, I'm going to preach, and I'm going to prophesy. Is that all right? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm, a, I'm truly a prophet in function before I'm an apostle. Hallelujah. And the prophetic runs in my DNA. So if I call you out and I speak prophetically over your life, don't get spooked. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of the Lord today. Is that all right? Y'all got y'all Bibles? Yes. Hallelujah. I hope you did because we are in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to... Is there a way that we can put this up here? I'm like straining. Can we tighten it? All right. All right. We'll work it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All right. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hallelujah. Because I'm like straining over here. Glory be to God. Y'all are right out there? Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is truly, yes, that will work. Amen. The presence of the Lord is truly here. Hallelujah. And I just admire a house of worship. There's nothing like a house of worship. Hallelujah. There's nothing like a house of worship. Why? Because that's where God lives. That's where he breathes. That's where he moves. Hallelujah. And I just, I, I really admire the atmosphere in this house. Not every church has it. Not every church has it. So we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, let's go to the word of the Lord. Let's go to 2 Kings. Hallelujah. 2 Kings, I believe it's chapter 5. This laptop. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you have it, just shout back at me, amen. amen. Hallelujah. If you need some more time, just say, I need some more time. It's all right if you need some more time. Glory be to God. And I'm going to read the scriptures here off of my phone. Hallelujah. That's 2 Kings chapter 5. All right, if it's, your, if it's your custom to stand for the reading of God's word, I need you to stand. If it's not, that's just fine. Amen? Hallelujah. And I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. 
Hallelujah. Before I go on, shout out to my Beyond family who came out. Hallelujah. Shout out to Beyond tribe. I love y'all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And hear the word of the Lord. And it reads, Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Aram, Syria, was considered a great man by his king and was highly respected. Somebody say highly respected. Because through Naaman, the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was also a man of courage. He was a, but he was a leper. The, Ar the Arams had gone out and bound in band and had taken captive a little girl from the land of Israel and she waited on Naaman's wife as a servant. She said to her mistress, I miss that my master Naaman, I wish that my master Naaman were with the prophet who was in Samaria. Then he would heal him of his leprosy. Naaman went in and told his master, the king, the girl who is from the, the land of Israel said such and such. Then the king of A Aram said, now go and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So he, he, he left and took with him 10 talents of silver and 6,000 shackles of gold and, and 10 changes of clothes. Verse 6, and he brought the letter to the king of Israel. It said, and now when his letter comes to you, I will, I, will I will have sent my servant Naaman to you so that you may heal him of leprosy. When the king of Israel read the letter, he tore his clothes and said, am I God to, to kill and make alive that, that this man sends to me? To heal a man of leprosy? Just consider and see, see how he is seeking an opportunity with me. Verse 8. Now when Elisha, the man of God, heard the king of Israel had torn his clothes, he sent word to the king saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Just let Naaman come to me and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Verse 9. Now Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the entrance of Elisha's house. Elisha sent the messenger to him saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times and your flesh will be restored to you. Will be restored to you and you will be clean. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the word of the Lord that is ever true. We thank you, God, for the seals, God, of revelation being broken in this house. Father, speak by your word. Speak by your power. Speak by your might. And Father, do, God, what only you can do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Listen, if I were to have a topic today, it would solely be, who is your prophet? Come on, touch the person next to you and ask them, who is your prophet? Because I believe that we're in a season and we're in a time where the prophetic voice has been distorted. Okay. Uh, where I believe that we're in a time and a dispensation where we have, where we have totally uh, 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 misconstrued the voice of God. And, and we have now begun to move in a place of emotionalism, in a place of, 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 of just uh, uh, egocentralism, and, and just moving in a place where God says, listen, I want to bring you out of that place and I need you to hear the voice of the prophets. So what does that mean, Apostle? I'm going to help you out today. That simply means that God is saying that I need you to begin to identify the prophetic voices in your life. Come on, touch your neighbor and say, who is the prophetic voice in your life? Come on, because I believe that when you have, when you understand that, there, that, that there's a need for prophetic direction, glory be to God, you will begin to understand that, listen, without the voice of God, I have no direction. Hello, and we have to understand that without the voice of God, we are only giving ear to demonic forces and demonic elites that have no access, hallelujah, that has no right to give us direction. Y'all all right? <laughs> so the word of the Lord declares in 2 Kings 5, it begins to let us know that there was a man called Naaman. 
Hallelujah. I feel my help in here. There was a man called Naaman and the word of the Lord declares that he was a noble man. He was one that, 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 that was uh, uh, known and he, he had great reputation. But there was one issue. Somebody say one issue. Yeah, he had leprosy. And that sounds like many of us in the body of Christ were, were with great reputation but were sick. Emo uh oh, okay. We're, we're, we're sick emotionally, we're sick spiritually, but still leading. Wow. Uh, Y'all all right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Naaman, he's a great noble man, and he has leprosy, but there's an issue. There's an issue because. The one that people thought can heal him did not have the capacity to heal him. See, the word of the Lord declares that there was a letter written to the king. And the king began to become uh, uh, so disheartened that he began to tear his clothes. See, if we know anything about the history in the rending of clothes, that was simply the, the outward sign of mourning. Uh huh. See, a lot of us now we have begun to connect ourselves with people that can only keep us in our pity party. See, see, see. Uh, uh, the prophet. The, when we begin to connect ourselves with prophetic voices, Hallelujah, and begin to honor the prophetic voices in our life, we will now begin to understand that not only am I connecting with a thing that can keep me and say, "Oh yes, woe is me," and pat me on the back, but I can now begin to connect to a person that can pray me through. Naaman understood that the king, although he was noble and although he was one that had great power, he did not have the capacity to heal Naaman nor give him direction in his, his state. Glory be to God. See, we have to begin to give access to those that have the capacity to, to bring us through. And we have to begin to understand that as we are maturing in the things of God, as God begins to raise us up, as God is raising up a people, as God is raising up a, 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 a new wineskin generation, we have to understand that not everybody has the capacity to bring us through. Naaman, he came and he came to the prophet's house, but the thing was that he expected the prophet to come to the door. And how many of us know that it's only a word that can change your life? But the, but the reality, watch this, the reality of this is that uh, what words are you giving access? See, he said, listen, I'm going to send the word with my servant. Hallelujah. And this is what you're going to tell him. Listen, Naaman got upset. Doesn't that sound like some of us, we, 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 when God begins to speak prophetically over our life, we begin to get upset and disgruntled. Why? Because it's not what we expected. Uh-oh, I, I don't know who I'm talking to in here, but, but I believe that God, hallelujah, he can use dirty things to clean you up. I believe that God is using your past. I believe that God, he's, he's calling you to dip into the Jordan, hallelujah. He's calling some of you to go back and dip seven times and allow the past to heal you. He got upset. He said, I thought that the prophet was going to come. But how many of us know it's in the weight of the word that changes the trajectory of your life? We have to begin to identify the voices in our life. We have to begin to identify those who, those who are for us and those who are against us. Can I let you know that, that every rebuke from your leader, hallelujah, it is not to hold you back. Hello, I don't know why I'm going here. Hallelujah, it is not to, 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 to keep you in a stagnated place, but it's to give you a sure future. It's to bring you into a place where God can begin to say, now you're ready for the next next level can I let you know that many of us in the body we want the next level but we're immature y'all all right 
how we ask him for the next level, but we're getting upset when God begins to speak a thing that we don't want to hear. How so? How sway? <laughs> Hallelujah. So he begins to get upset and the prophet begins to say, listen, understand this, that the king, he got word of his condition. See, many people have gotten word of your condition. And all they can do is pat you on the back and say it's okay, but they have no power nor the capacity to speak the word of the Lord. Listen, you need some people that can speak the word of the Lord. That can say, listen, thus says the Lord. And this is what's going to happen X, Y, and Z. Hallelujah. We have to understand that this distortion that has been coming through the airwaves, even that has been trying to come into the pulpit, we have to understand that there must be an arising in our spirit, even as there was an arising in Naaman's spirit when he began to go. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord said, listen, he went. He went to the, to, the, to the river Jordan. And can I let you know, if you know anything about Jordan, it was a place, it was so dirty. It was dirty, but can I let you know that God is using the dirty things to clean you up. He's using your past. He's using the things that has, that, that has brought you, hallelujah, into a place of rejection. It's, he's using the things that have brought you into a place, hallelujah, where you feel like you can't go anymore. He's saying, dip into the Jordan. Dip seven times. And watch this. Not only do you dip, but there would be, hallelujah, a, a, a great a, a, a fruit that comes out of it. Your leprosy will be made whole. Can I let you know that, that not only, hallelujah, is God concerned about you just speaking in tongues, rolling around on the floor, hello, I want to deal with this spirit, hallelujah, and, and, and falling out and just jumping and saying hallelujah, but he's concerned with your soul. See, there are many broken souls in the body of Christ. We just come to church religiously, and it's a check thing. Okay, yeah, I, I, I did my chore for today, but God is looking for some true sons and daughters that will say, listen, for God I live, for God I die. I don't care where I've been. I don't care what I've done. Hallelujah. But God is cleaning me up. Amen. See, they only know you by your past. They know you by outdated information, but next time they see you, let them know that they need an upgrade. They need an upgrade of information. They need an upgrade. Somebody shout, they need an upgrade. <laughs> ah. Somebody say, who's your prophet? Hallelujah. We need to begin to identify. We need to begin to embrace. We need to begin to understand, glory be to God, that these voices in our life, hallelujah, they will begin to embrace where we are and not pray on us, but pray for us. See, there's a difference. See, we've been giving ear to Kiki. We've been giving ear to Kiki. Do you love me? Hallelujah. We've been giving ear to Facebook and all of this other stuff, but God is saying, listen, I need you to find your prophet. I need need you to find the prophetic voice in your life so that you cannot be a wavered hallelujah but you now have direction yeah. see we're in a we're living in a time where God is saying I need my people to have direction see we we, we can't we can no longer be tossed to and fro hello yeah, when, 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 when trials and tribulations come and, and when indeed the leprosy may hit our life where, where we, 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 we tend to, 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 to back down. But God is saying, I'm looking for someone that will begin to stand up. See, the, the, the fight and in, in, in the, in the, in the, uh, 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 the test of who you are is not on a Sunday morning when you're in the, in the midst of the believer. Okay. <laughs> See, the test is when you are by yourself. See, it's easy to jump and shout and scream, hallelujah. But when the test comes, when life begins to hit you, when life begins to throw you a low blow, when the doctor begins to say, listen, you only have three months to live. Yeah, yeah. 
we, 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 we have to begin to understand that, that it's in that moment God begins to test us. And that is, that is the true uh, 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 fulfillment of who God says that you are. Naaman understood that if I just listen to the prophet, see, he had a choice. He had a choice to either obey or disobey. And that's the thing, hallelujah, with God. We have to know that God does not, he does not force himself on anyone. See, when the prophet speaks over you, it's your choice to either obey the word of the Lord, hallelujah, or disobey. And because it doesn't happen right now, that doesn't mean that he's a false prophet. See, that, that's, that's an epidemic in the church. See, we, we, begin to, we begin to leave the prophetic word at the altar and we're wondering why things aren't happening for us. Why? Because we have left it and we have not hearkened unto the instructions of the Lord and we're, we're wondering, well, why, why isn't things happening? Why is, 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 is Sister Cece and, and Brother Bobo down, why are they getting promoted over me? Why? Because they picked up their prophetic word and they didn't leave it at the altar y'all looking at me like I got 12 heads hallelujah but this is the hour where God is calling us to listen to direction imagine if Naaman would have would have said well no uh, yeah yes he walked away angry but he understood that 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 this is my destiny see some of us need to get rid of this spirit of offense the spirit of offense that have kept us in this immature state. Y'all all right? Yeah. Hallelujah. The spirit of offense that, that, that creeps in unaware. Well, pastor done told me to move a chair so I ain't coming to church no more. <laughs> hey, pastor told me to do this. Apostle told me to do this. So, nah, I ain't like how he said that to me. So I ain't coming to church no more. Listen, we have to understand that, that as we are being processed to obey the word of the Lord, God puts men and women in our life to keep us straight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And if we cannot honor, this bothers me. How do we say that we're called to the nations? We're called to do this. We're called to evangelize. We're called to do, we're called to travel the world. But we do not respect the man of God. We don't respect the anointing. We think that we can talk to our leaders any old way. We think that we can just, yeah. So, so instead of you being processed, you have now tried to make it a friendship. We have to understand that we can miss our very destiny. Hallelujah. When we begin to ignore the prophetic intervals, when we begin to ignore the prophetic decibels that God is speaking over our life. There were decibels that were speaking over Naaman's life. Hallelujah. And the prophet had the answer. Not everybody has the answer for your life. We have to understand that it's selected men and women of God that God will begin to make privy your destiny. Yeah. See, 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 see. How is it that we say that we're called to a house of worship, but we're giving more, more access to, to, the, to, the, to the witch and the warlock on Facebook? Come on, we sow in the witch's ministry before we sow into our own. Hallelujah. We got to deal with this stuff. Why? Because I believe that God is on the premise of greater glory. God is on the premise of greater breakout. But in order for, for true revival to hit the church, we have to deal with these sacred cows that no, more, no preachers are speaking about. dysfunctional but still leading dysfunctional but bleeding on the people see we 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 have to begin to understand that that God is not just 
He's not just concerned about the things that, 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 that have plagued us, but he's also concerned about those who are attached to you. See, when you're plagued and hurt and, and you have not yet been healed by, by, the, by the leprosy, hallelujah, you now begin to contaminate. I need you to hear me prophetically. You now begin to contaminate those that are attached to you, those that are connected to you, those that depend on you. Why? Because you have not yet been healed. See, some of us need to begin to let, let go of some of that unforgiveness. Hello. Oh, well, Cece and Bobo, them, they, they hurt me 12 years ago, so I can't move forward. Yeah, Cece and Bobo, them, they, 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 I ain't like how they talk to me at the family reunion. They ain't hold a door for me, so I can't move forward. Can I let you know that, 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 that because one lets you down, that has nothing to do with your perception of God. And Naaman, he understood this. He understood that, yes, I may have some isms and schisms. I, I may be used to a certain type of luxury. Hallelujah. But if it takes me to go to the dirty Jordan, hallelujah, and to be healed, hallelujah. Some of you need to say, I don't care what, what, what's going to, what, what, what they're saying over there, but I need to be healed in my heart, in my emotions, in everything that I am. Why? Because my destiny depends on it. I know this is not your, 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 your normal type of preaching, but as an apostle, hallelujah, the, the, as, you, as you begin to understand apostolic order, these things need to be dealt with. St we need to stop pushing it under the rug. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we need to begin to take care of what needs to be taken care of. How are we saying that we want a, a, a more glory, more fire? We want revival, but we're still broken. The broken canister. Listen, when oil comes, hallelujah, all it's going to do is sip right out. Why? Because you're still broken. Y'all getting this? I promise you, I'm going to close in like two minutes. Not for real. Two apostolic minutes. <laughs> hallelujah. Then I'm going to prophesy and pray for some people. So, I begin to look up leprosy, right? And leprosy... It was a skin condition, right? It was a skin condition. It was, it was, it was something that was, that was outward. And, 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 and it doesn't that sound like some of our conditions, hallelujah. We, we, we tend to uh, 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 wear our, our, our emotions on the sleeve, like, like some people would say. But, but can I let you know that God is looking for a thick skin type of people. A thick skin type of people that can go through fire and say, listen, I'm, I am fireproof, I am bulletproof, and I am wordproof. <laughs> Why? Because we have to understand that the, that the tactics of the enemy, they are arising in another level, on another wave. Hallelujah. And if we are not th uh, skin proof, if we are not bulletproof, hallelujah, catch me prophetically, hallelujah, we will begin to get lost in the sauce the slightest thing that hits our life we are now we are now indecisive even about the very existence of God why because we have we have not yet uh, allowed God to 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 uh, buffer us and and bring us into hallelujah buffer our outward shell hallelujah see what begins to 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 exuberate from the outside the inside first must be aligned see we cannot confess with our mouth if our heart doesn't believe what our mouth is confessing some of us need to begin to change the very words that we speak out of our mouth. Some of us need to begin to understand that, listen, hallelujah, there is life and death in the very power of my tongue. And if I say that I'm not going to make it, listen, you're not going to make it. Why? Because you've spoken it. And you've put it out there for it to take place. Hallelujah. But I believe that as we begin to understand our position as sons of God. And we begin to align with our prophetic voices. And those that God has placed in our life. Hallelujah. We will begin to see seamless victories. 
See, I believe that God, he, he doesn't want your victories to be, to be so, 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 so vigorous, but he wants it to be sweatless. He wants to bring you into a season where you are now seeing every part of you made whole. Hallelujah. This, I don't know why God has given me this theme, but I know he's speaking to the, not just this house, hallelujah, but to the whole uh, 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 church at large. That when we begin to come into new places of exposure, that we are being good stewards of the glory. That it's not just an experience. Hello. It's not, see the king, hallelujah, he had an experience. Glory be to God. But, but what God wanted to do for Naaman, he wanted to bring him into a place of fullness. He wanted to bring him into a place where he can truly experience what God had for him. And I believe that that's where many of us are today. As we're only seeing trickles. Of glory. We're only seeing trickles of what God wants to do. And God says, if you just begin to identify the prophetic voices, identify those who will pray for you before they pray on you. Hello. Identify, hallelujah, identify those that will begin to say, thus says the Lord and not my opinions. See, opinions are just that. <laughs> opinions are just that opinions hallelujah they, they they weigh nothing but the only opinion that matters is God's and some of us need to get that in here we're we're so worried about what people are saying why is that they're living their life they're they're just giving an, op an opinion but we're but we're trying to align ourselves with their voice and their voice is illegal illegal voices and we're giving them access we're giving them access to our future we're giving them access to our destiny we're giving them access to the things that god has placed in our lap why hallelujah why are we doing it because we do not know who we are see there's an identity crisis there's an identity crisis and when we begin to understand that god wants to heal us from even that God has called you marked and he says that this is your season and this is your hour to come up just a little higher just a little higher and be healed he says dip seven times some of us need to go back even into our childhood and be delivered for some things come on can I speak the word of deliverance is that all right apostle Hallelujah. Some of us need to be healed from some generational curses. Hallelujah. We're wondering why we're going through these plagues. Hallelujah. Why we keep going through. Hallelujah. These same doors and these same uh, places. Glory be to God. And God is saying, I need you to revisit these things. I need you to rephase. Hallelujah. These giants, these Goliaths that have defied you, these uncircumcised Philistines that have come up against you. I need you to say, off with their heads. But to get there, we need prophetic voices. Prophetic voices that will say, listen, boo-boo, you off track. <laughs> See, sometimes we don't like to hear that when we're so zealous and we love God. But how many of us know that God still uses men? Okay, y'all don't, don't hear me because we, we, we've come into a place where, well, I don't care what nobody say. Well, you should care. No, I don't care what they say. If it's your leader, you should care. Why? Because God has placed you into a place, hallelujah, where God will begin to reveal even the very heart and the nature of your destiny to your leader so that you can now begin to be brought back on course. So we need to begin to check ourselves. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Hallelujah. In my closing, I promise, then I'm going to pray for some people, then I'm going to get out your way. So, <laughs> that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was past two minutes, but I want to just drop this here. As Naaman began to obey the word of the prophet, we begin to see in the scriptures as it's unlocked and revealed to us so plainly that 
there was a restoration that came to his life. And in order for us, and I feel it so strongly, I really feel the burden of the Lord. In order for us to say, God, I need full restoration. And I'm going to close this here because this is my last point. He says, in order for us to come into full restoration, he says, I need you to begin to identify the places that you, not, that you have not surrendered. The places that you have not surrendered. See, some of us like to say, okay, God. Well, if I give you this, then, 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 I, and I keep this, then that's all right. Can I let you know that God wants it all? And I believe tonight that you aren't here by chance. Hallelujah. And I believe that God has divinely sent me to release this apostolic word to realign us. See, when we go to the chiropractor, see, when we're aligned by the chiropractor, it doesn't feel good, but it's worth it. And, and, and we have to understand that, that as God begins to call us up, hallelujah, God also will realign us and begin to change and, and begin to challenge our minds. Why? Because it all starts here. Yeah, it all starts here. Paul, as he's writing to the Roman church, he says, I need you to be what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? Because he understood apostolically that if I can begin to challenge you in your thinking, in your stinking thinking, then you will begin to change. Does this make sense? Hallelujah. So I believe prophetically that God is challenging the mindset of the church. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's challenging us. Why? Because we have ran with thought patterns. Hallelujah. That has only led us up to destruction. Wondering why we're not seeing restoration. Wondering why we're still broken. Wondering why our, our money looking funny. Wondering why everything around us is chaotic. Why? Because we have not yet surrendered our will. We have not fully surrendered. We give him some part. Okay, okay, God. I, I, all right, God. 10%. I, I'll give you that, God. I hear some laughs out there. You know it's true. It's true. We give him 10% and we expect, we, we think that he's forgotten about the 90. <laughs> but God says tonight, even as Naaman was restored, why? Because of his obedience. So I want to restore every part of your life, every part of your marriage, every part of your relationship, every part of your ministry, every part of you. I want to restore. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and I'm closing here. <laughs> Naaman, he moved with action. We have to know that as God is calling you to be restored, God is not going to force something on you that you're not willing to do. Listen to me. He, will, he has given us the most powerful tool in the universe, and that is a free will. Hello. There is nothing more powerful than a free will. And God will never defy his law of free will, hallelujah, to push his will on you. And God is saying, and I hear his heart so clear. He says, if you just begin to surrender every part of you, hallelujah, you begin to surrender every part. Can you just play an instrumental? Hallelujah. If you begin to just surrender every part of you, that's when he will begin to allow the fullness of restoration. See, some of you are at, you guys are at the, some of you in here, you're just at the, the halfway point. God says, I want to bring it full circle. I feel it. Hello, I feel it. Some of your emotional cups need to be poured out tonight. You've been carrying too much. Hello, you've been carrying too much and God is saying, I need you to come dip again. God will use the most ugliest things. 
Hallelujah. Some of you may be saying, but I heard this before. I've heard this before. I've, I've heard this apostle. I've, 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 I've heard it before. But I believe that this is a divine echoing in the earth. That as you begin to understand that God, he cares about you. He cares about you. He cares about every part of you. He just doesn't care about your business growing. He just doesn't care about, hallelujah, uh, 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 you just, just uh, uh, saying that you love him or you're a believer. But he wants you to be fully restored. Where every cycle will be disrupted. Come on. Every cycle being disrupted. Every cycle being disrupted. I don't know what your cycle may be. Come on, all over this room, just stand to your feet. Come on, because we're going to go together. Hallelujah. We're going to go together. Come on, every hand lifted in this house. Come on, we are going to give God our all today. Oh, hallelujah. Begin to build a dialogue. Come on, begin to build a dialogue with your father. Begin to build a dialogue. Come on, you know what it is that you need to be healed from. You know what it is that you need to begin to denounce. You know what it is that you need to begin to say, listen, I have no parts with you. Hallelujah. Some of you need to begin to rip up the contracts. Hello, in the spirit realm and say, hey, listen, we have no dealings anymore. Some of you need to begin to go to some people and say my address has changed hasta la go baby ah yes Scott says I am calling you higher come on come on come on you don't need anyone to lay hands on you the atmosphere is rich the atmosphere is potent the atmosphere is pregnant oh Sotamande kiandai, rebo kuraman shai, ro kuraman shikiandai, resketande kurabaha. Come on, rip through. Come on, come on, come on. Rip through, rip through, rip through. Come on, rip through, rip through every barrier. Ah, hey. Come on, push, travail, cry out, cry out. Oh, Father, we need you. We need you. Oh, Father. Hey, we want to be healed. Come on. Yes, yes. More of you, Father. More of you. More of you. Father, help me where I am weak. Help me where I am weak. Father, for you are strong. Come on, if you have a heavenly language, begin to begin to release it in this atmosphere. Begin to release it. Begin to release it. Come on, if you have a heavenly language, begin to release it. Let the sound, let the sound arise. Let the sound of intercession be in your mouth. Come on. Come on, contend for the glory. Contend for the glory. Put a demand, put a demand. Come on. Put a demand. Holy Ghost. 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 Soto Kurama Mama Mansai. Sepro Kurama Mama Manchi Kianda. Sonda Bakaramansi. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come on, don't stop. Don't let the don't let the levels drop. Don't let the levels drop. Come on. Don't let the levels drop. Don't let the levels drop. Come on, come on. Don't let the levels drop. Don't let the levels drop. Come on, push. Push, push, push. Push, push. Push, push. Push, push. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push, push. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here. He's here. Come on, come on. Let it arise, let it arise. Come on. Ena man shiki andai. Reko ramansa. Rosa pandai. Reman shiki anda. Rakaman shiki anda. Rukurama mamamamansa. Oh. Holy Ghost. 
come on he's here the ministering angels are here <laughs> oh Woo! oh lift your hands to the Lord lift your hands for I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that this is a time of greater this is a time of greater impartation for you for even as I begin to call you forth he says it's your key of humility that will begin to take you up for he says I have seen you in the field I have seen you in the days of despair I have seen you in the time where you had nothing where you had to sacrifice your all says the Lord and he says even as David was found in the field so am I crowning you in this season so he says receive so Rakamanshai fresh say yeah <laughs> Raman Sukuramansa. Yes, you've been weary. Ah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you've been weary, but the Lord says your strength comes unto you tonight. You will not give up. You've even been battling with thoughts of even walking away. Yeah. <laughs> but the blood of Jesus covers you. I declare and I decree even unto you that you shall soar. For he says that you have the windspan of eagles. And you shall soar even unto the highest peak, says the Lord. Misunderstood surely. Ah, misused surely. But I am even restoring even unto you those places. Ah, I've heard of those places and I even close the door says the Lord of every memory of abuse says the Lord he says I close the door ah <laughs> yeah <laughs> he says I close the door surely and surely I bring you into a new chapter a new chapter says the Lord a new chapter a new phase a new phase says the Lord so he says walk therein walk therein walk therein for surely I am bringing full restoration. Full restoration upon you, says the Lord. Uh, the Lord wants you to stand up. There's a new weight of glory that's about to hit you. There's a new weight of glory that's about to hit you. There's a new weight of glory. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, now. So. So nabakaramaha. Everyone just lift your hands to the Lord. Come on. God wants to speak. Come on. He's in the house. He's in the house. Come on. He's in the house. Oh, naman shekianda. There's a fresh glory. There's a fresh impartation. Now, 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 now. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Oh, Raman Shakarabaha. For the Lord says that this is a time for you. Ah, yes, to get in my face. To get in my face. So Ramansha, for I take you to another level. I take you to see my face. Oh yes, for the sound, the sound of heaven is about to ring out of you. The sound of heaven is about to ring out of you. The sound of heaven. Hey. <laughs> there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. So da bahanda, reskitandi karamansa, roko ramansa. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Every cycle, break, break, break. Break! Oh! Sunda Karamahansa! Every tormenting spirit that has come. Break! Come on here. Come on. Break! Come on. I need some intercessors. Some praying people. Holy Ghost! Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Release her now. Release her now. Release her now. Release, release. 
We speak the word of deliverance over her now. Hallelujah. Now in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. So, so cool. Ra, ra, re, kamansha. Oh, yes, yes. Plans to prosper you and to give you a hope. Come on, plans to prosper you and to give you a hope. Come on, I don't care. Get me my rag, get me my rag. Hallelujah. I don't care what anybody has said. Hallelujah. This is your season and this is your time to go forward, to go forward. So he says, go, 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 go. Holy Ghost. You've been having dreams. Tormenting dreams. I see you pasting your floor, getting up and you're saying, I don't know what this is. And you've been saying, God, I want to be free. He says, if you just touch the helm of his garment tonight. If you just touch the helm of his garment tonight. He says that he will restore. Now in the name of Jesus. There are even some contracts that you have signed in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord says that he's not upset with you. You've been feeling like God is upset with you. Come on, I came to prophesy. I don't play with the devil. I expose the devil. The Lord says... The enemy was trying to kill you a few months back. The enemy was trying to kill you. And even he has plagued your mind with thoughts of suicide. But I declare and I decree that the blood of the lamb, the blood of the lamb, deliverance has come to you this day. You will never be the same. I declare and I decree that every spirit of suicide that is gone from you now in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go. Let her go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Go. So, yeah, yes. Let go of her. Now. Yeah, there it is. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes.
Come on, do I have some praying people in here? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I want us to understand something. Wherever there's deliverance, there's the kingdom. And we have to understand that as God begins to do what he's doing even in this midst of us, there are ministering angels. There are ministering angels. There are ministering angels. If you just hear what God desires to do in your life. Ah, Holy Ghost. Come on. Yes. See, she's getting what's, what, what's hers. <laughs> she ain't worried about nobody. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I feel the power of God. Holy Ghost. Come on, you've been holding so much in. Come on, you're like a water bag just getting ready to explode. Yeah. He says, empty your emotional cup this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost. Come on, he sings over you. He dances over you. Oh, Holy Ghost. He sings over you and he dances over you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You've been saying, God, I need more of you. 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 I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. And he says that I give you more. I give you more. I give you more of me. I give you more of me. I give you more of me. I give you more. Sondakaramamamamamansi. Rokuramansakarabahai. Oh, yes. Oh, and God says that I want to deal with this spirit of unforgiveness now. Come on. You have to let it go. Come on. Come on. Whatever that expression may mean to you, unforgiveness go. So, Rakamansha. Come on. You have to. You have to. For your destiny. Come on. This depends on your destiny. Let it go. Yeah, I know it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Uh huh. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Come on. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on. Sotabakandi Karamansha. Come on, come on. Picture yourself coming out. It's been, I almost see you like in a jail cell. And you're locked up. Ah, he says, I want every shackle of unforgiveness to be broken off of you, says the Lord. Come on. Every shackle of unforgiveness. Hallelujah. Anger, rage. Ah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. By the finger of God. Be loose. Oh, 